those voices? entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. I, I have to get it. I have to... Uh, uh, uh. Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. Art teacher. Merveille de Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. I received a... Oh my, I have the worst. <laughs> I love this song. Now it's open. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions. Harry Everhart. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. <laughs> what was Whoa, I thinking man. when I brought all the these dresses on this trip? Hmm. I think I've overpacked. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own.
Lower the motorboat. And be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lad. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. if I can find any trace of you around here. A tent. So somebody was on this island recently. Good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Looks like it opens from the other side. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. What a lovely flower offering. A 
carving tool. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. Well, look what's hidden here. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. But a Polynesian version. since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp.
rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. <laughs> and I thought Colorado was too far from home when we moved there. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. Oh my, this is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. That's convenient. This looks like cargo from an earlier voyage, long before Harry's expedition. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this unu. I'll draw the symbol in my journal.
Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure. And by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. I hit the jackpot. That's my ticket across the river then. How long have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. Wow, what is this place? I'd better have a look around this abandoned village. Harry's crew might have stayed here. This fella sounds pretty hot-headed. Blowing an ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. Ooh, looks like someone... Who worries this much about their appearance in a place like this? Nice comb. Very neat. Quite a looker. A fashion model, maybe. <laughs> His real name was Costas?
This enormous stone slab looks like a mechanism to get up to the outcrop. Hmm, is something missing here? A tiki. Like something straight out of an adventure novel. The Everhart Expedition. They set up camp here. Looks like some of the crew members didn't get along too well. A forbidden ritual? Fascinating. Let me record it. So, you said you've been on this island before. Yes. Some years ago. I made a rookie mistake. I did it from my fishing boat to go to what looked like a better spot. My dad and hour had gone. I went suddenly. My bar, my canoe overturned. And I got this lovely souvenir from that mistake. Heavens, what gave you that scar? It's not a what, but a who. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at it. But it seemed like a sea creature I never seen. Anyway. I was lucky enough to reach that Whiteson beach, the one where we landed on the island. A man came three days later and got me out of there. He brought me to the port of Papete without speaking a single word. Time passed, and I promised myself that I would go on with my life and forget about this damn island. Why did you agree to return to the island then? I need to know what happened to me, to discover the truth. I don't know if you get me. Absolutely. So now you believe in magic, old pal? Polynesian man covered in tattoos. I'm not sure if he looks angry or scared. Well, what well? Oh, damn it. Someone on the expedition died. Farewell message from a friend. I never thought that this expedition would cause anybody's death. Oh, I'm sure Harry never thought so either. If he'd known this was going to happen, he'd never have come here. Explosives. Looks dangerous. Did they use all the dynamite? Explosives. Looks dangerous. He seems confused, as if he was having a hard time writing this down. close to a grave since my mother's burial. Shortly after she died, my lovely Dalmatian spots, as Harry used to call them, appeared. We thought it was nothing at first. Why is this hammock so far from the rest of the campsite? Look at this little fellow. An amulet with a carved Marquesian cross.
Oh, I must have found the luxury huts. Pretty swanky. Look at him. Giddy as a schoolboy. Icor? I've seen Harry keep even restaurant checks for bookkeeping. He would never tear up a piece of valuable information. Got it. It's been ripped out of something else. <laughs> Considering how poorly Harry draws, this isn't half bad. Interesting. That Frank seems to feel guilty for whatever happened. I feel really bad for him. You put together quite an expedition, Harry. And all just for little old me. Where did you get this strange device, Harry? I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works, or what to do with it. My dear old pal, I know you won't ever read this letter, but I'm accustomed to writing you and it comforts me in this strange place. This island is riddled with secrets. So many secrets. But I'm not only talking about mechanisms and contraptions, nor I dare say that something on the island clouds one's judgment. Otherwise, I don't have an explanation for Roy's actions. The man was arrogant, impulsive, and a little cocky, but he was no fool. We weren't friends by any means, but he didn't deserve what happened. Now, we may have made some progress in finding the cure for your illness, but at what price? I miss you so much, Nora. Harry. He may not say it explicitly, but Harry blames himself for Roy's death. I know him too well. And I miss you too, Harry. Jeepers! A stranded ship! Something's missing here. This explains why the campsite is nearly abandoned. <laughs> 